In today's video, I want to ask people to please, please, please investigate Islam in a fair way, right? Don't judge Islam on what Muslims do. Don't judge Islam on what you see in the media. And don't judge Islam by its rules. Don't judge Islam by how you, how you perceive Muslims. Rather, judge Islam on its beliefs. Judge it on its historical, its textual, its, um, and its scientific validity. Don't judge it by what Muslims do because that will confuse you and that will just make you um, like you'll have a cultural bias. If you're like, well, I'm not going to become Muslim because so and so does it, th does this, or that guy does that. Don't do, don't even pay attention to any Muslims. Pay attention to what the Quran says and what the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi The Sunnah, by the way, is like um, like compilation of things the Prophet Muhammad did and said. So we ask you to judge Islam based on what we believe and judge it on whether or not it's a plausible reality instead of is it does it say alcohol is forbidden or does it say pork is forbidden or these sort of things so please please judge islam on what it like what we believe in and check it check it for check it for facts check it for reality don't check it for like things that your culture disagrees with it on so now ask yourself why you're not Muslim. You're gonna find that you're probably not Muslim because of some sort of cultural bias that you have against Muslims. And it may be something very, very innocent, like, oh, I couldn't cover, or I couldn't stop eating um, the flesh of swine, or I couldn't stop drinking, or I can't break up with my girlfriend. Like, you'll have probably this sort of, the most likely, I'm not saying all of you probably do, but the person questioning himself will probably have this sort of answer. But we're asking you to set aside the things that are forbidden and the things that you have to do as a Muslim. We want you to think about, is Islam a reality? Is it the truth? Is it plausible? Right? Because once you accept that it's plausible and it's a reality, all of the rules will make sense to you. You'll be like, well, I have to do it because God said so. So please, for the sake of yourself, Right? For the sake of yourself, please, please, please think of Islam in an intellectual and a logical way, not in a cultural way, not in an emotional way. Finally, on behalf of all the Muslims in the world, I humbly ask you to investigate Islam objectively.